At conceptual level, we have already used the IR diagrams. Uh, see, there are various models are proposed, even at conceptual level also. But then IR models are very popular and even we have IR models in syllabus. That is the reason why we are focusing on IR models uh, entity relationship. And again, these IR models have also been extended to extended IR models like EER. Uh, but we don't have that in syllabus, so I'm not going to talk about it. So let's go on to the next step. See, I told you that there are various levels, right? So one is conceptual level, other is representational level, and other is physical level, right? Now conceptual level is mainly useful uh, at the uh, no, requirement analysis phase. You collect the requirement and then you draw these diagrams and you show the show to the users. And once they say yes, everything is fine. I mean, the way we communicate with the users, we should not use any technical terms, right? So these uh, ER diagrams are going to be very easy. So conceptual level, ER. Now let us say everything is okay at ER level and you understood the requirements completely, which means they said that yes, you know, this is what we wanted, uh, the, you know, the users. So yeah, as a database designer, you have uh, consulted with the end users and they said that yes, everything is fine according to the ER diagrams, right? Now you should choose one of the uh, representational model uh, carefully. The reason is, once you choose this representational model to design the database, see there are two things here. One is database and other is database management system. Database means the collection of data, right? Now you are talking about how to represent the data. Once you represent the data, then we are going to use software which will help us manipulate the data, right? Therefore, you have to choose exactly or you know, you should, you should not make any mistake in you know choosing which model you want to use once you choose the model depending on that you will get the database management system the software uh, which will act on this for example see now at relational at uh, this uh, representational level we are supposed to choose a model and depending on whatever model we use right we are going to assume that our data is modeled like this so your database will become whatever model you are using here right now depending on the type of database you are going to use the software right the database management system and now every database management system every software cannot uh, access every data possible depending on the model which you have used in the database you are supposed to choose the you know software and who is who will provide you software either you can write the software on your own right but it is going to be very hectic. That is why what people do is they'll just design the database and then they'll take the you know database management system available in the market. Generally, there are various open source uh, database management systems available as well as there are commercial database management systems available like IBM provides you and TCS provides you. And many services companies are also providing databases these, these days and even Oracle also provides you, right? So which one should you choose? The model, uh, which data model should you choose? It is always better that you choose a data model for which there are lots of database management systems available. And the most popular database model used at representation level is relational model. Okay, relational. Relational model. It is the most popular database model used. The reason why it is becoming more and more popular is because more and more vendors are manufacturing the database management or you know, providing this uh, database management system, the software itself. You know, initially it started with IBM. So IBM, uh, you know, if you use relational database here, IBM was uh, providing system R or you know, various softwares are there, but the earlier version was system R. Now that system R software was the you know, database management system software, which you could easily buy. And second flexibility is, uh, you know, after this uh, IBM, which has, re you know, initially followed this relational database and provided the database management system, later many companies started providing this uh, database man uh, this uh, management system. So the advantage you get is, if your data is in relational model, and if you have bought a software, and if you are not happy with that software, it will be very easy for you to just replace the software with the other software and everyone will follow the same standards. There has been standardization in this area. So what do I mean by standardization is, I know, let us say you are having a company and in this company you have trained some people 
you have trained them you know investing a lot of money to access the database management system and suddenly if you change the software again you might have to retrain your employees right but then the the good news about this relational database model is if you are using relational database modeling here relational database then relational database management systems are available and all of them are now uh, having the standardization in the sense you can learn sql and all of them are written in such a way that they could interact with sql which means they are all compatible with sql so your users your employees need not be trained in order to understand the relational database management system itself they can be trained to understand sql and in fact sql is designed in such a way that even the first name of sql is not uh, you know this one it was sql s c q u e l initially it was called sql right and you will understand with the name itself uh, what it really means so sql is structured english query language sometimes it is also called as simple english query q u means query language so what does it mean just in a english like language you can you can query your database right therefore it is that simple so all the relational database uh, management systems are now able to understand sql therefore you need not worry about what type of rdbms you are using as long as you know sql therefore train your employees in sql and if you are comfortable with the particular rdbms software from some vendor go with this later if you feel that that vendor is not giving you enough support or if he is charging too much for you you can easily you know move your platform to some other uh, rdbms without worrying about training part of your employees right so the popularity of uh, you know relational database model is because of various factors it is not just this uh, you know relational database model itself it is because of you know increasing uses see the more people use it the more facilities will be added and the standardization will be done right and if it you know if it continuously happens then what happens is we get more and more benefit being in this platform that sometimes it is also called as lock in people are now getting locked on to this uh, relational database if you come up with any new model let's say you invented any new new database model and even if you say that your database model is better compared to relational database model people will not move on to that because they have to have various options see i'll tell you this let us say android is there right now let us say you have invented a new mobile phone the hardware and a new software right and then you said that it is better even compared to it is more, you know android people might not go go for it because more and more app developers and more and more apps are available on the android platform right similarly you know you can compare this rdbms as a kind of uh, you know uh, this uh, android and maybe uh, sorry rdb as a kind of android and rdbms as a kind of you know app store now with these many apps available you know people are just logged into this because it is very convenient to use it right even if you say that a new model is available and which is helpful they will not move on to that are you understanding this right so the popularity of relational database model is not just because of uh, the model itself it is because of the availability the wide variety of rdbms software available and moreover sql is becoming more and more powerful so initially sql was proposed just to query the you know uh, database okay about sql we shall discuss in about it later but what i mean to say is the sql itself is becoming more and more powerful since its you know evolution now if you look at its evolution sql is able to do everything you know that you could possibly imagine initially it was just a query language it has been developed so much that you can do everything and now everyone is every rdbms is providing support to sql and if you want to run rdbms you should use relational database so it is a loop completely loop right and the development is going on over and over for the past 30 years the most dominant database system or database uh, you know modeling available is uh, this uh, relational database other than this there are various uh, models used maybe in 1960s and 1970s in 1960s and 1970s what happened was popularly you know the in 1960s and 70s ibm used to have the machines the hardware and there were no big comp com you know competitors for ibm there was uh, there were this company called as burrows 
and what used to happen is IBM used to invent some software I mean write some software for IBM machines and then this Burroughs used to have the hardware and someone had to take the IBM code and then uh, modify it in such a way that it used to run in this Burroughs right and there are only these two machines now even the uh, database was also initially used on IBM machines and it was developed by IBM itself and they were called as uh, you know legacy machines legacy systems so legacy means um, you can think of it as historical which means very old so earlier uh, before this uh, you know relational database IBM on IBM machines and Burroughs machines the databases used were the database models used were one is hierarchical database and other is uh, you know network database so these two database models were also popular hierarchical and uh, network database and the problem with these two are uh, there are you know now there are no service providers who are providing this software for this database modeling and so they are called legacy so but then what happened is companies in 1960s and 70s they have already stored lot of data in this database model and therefore they are still continuously using it and now there are tools being developed in order to move that particular database model into this relational model so automated tools are available so that you know you can uh, use them so and one more thing is since the data is very huge people are nowadays using this uh, you know data mining algorithms and data warehousing so what is the difference between data warehousing and databases is in data warehousing you know we are going to have a uh, huge data in databases we generally have uh, less data right and if from 1960s if you are collecting the data the data is very huge right so in those systems even other models are popular but at present everything is relational database and in our syllabus we have relational database and even you know if you go for any interviews or anything on database companies they will ask you about mainly about relational database only right so we shall focus only on relational database right so later see we have very we have various levels right so now we are we have already seen what is er model and now we are going to see what is relational model and later what we should do is after designing the uh, data model in ER model, we are supposed to we are supposed to convert it to relational model, right? Uh, so there are various ways to convert ER model to relational model. We shall see it, uh, and then after relational model, we should even discuss about the physical implementation. How are we going to store this relational model into the uh, you know this uh, this uh, storage devices, right? So before going ahead, we shall discuss all the terms which are present in this relational model, understand this model well and then convert the ER, ER diagrams into relational model and then we shall discuss about how to query this relational model itself using various what are the languages available for that. Actually relational model is a theoretical or formal platform right and it is derived from set theory. From set theory they are derived relations and from relations they derive relational uh, this model and now they have even proposed some formal languages like relational algebra and relational calculus okay see relational database has been proposed along with this researchers in IBM they have also proposed some formal languages like uh, you know relational algebra and relational calculus so if you if your uh, if your database is in relational uh, this model relational database model then you can you can implement relational algebra and relational calculus in order to query this right so popular databases relational database management systems are using you know this relational model and they are providing an implementation of relational algebra and relational calculus which is called sql these days right so in order to use this practically what is that you are supposed to do is you have to design it in er model and then convert it to relational model and then you know install any relational database software uh, management software and you can use this sql right which is an implementation of relational algebra and relational calculus and you can use this sql to query on the uh, you know database through relational dbms right so what is the relationship between sql and relational databases sql runs on top of relational database management system 
and whatever query you give it to the relational database management system it is going to be converted into relational algebra and relational calculus and it will finally act on the relational database model itself got it so now let's see uh, it might see initially it might appear to be a bit confusing but once we look at the examples and maybe once we understand every term which is present in this relational algebra and uh, relational calculus and sql it will be very easy to understand the model itself right so let's look at the terms first okay fine 